Hey, welcome to the vlog. In the movie You Got Served, there was a scene where a dance battle was going to take place and on the team they were waiting on somebody to arrive and when the person finally arrived, they were all shocked because he walked over to the opposing side. And they were like, Sonny Solo Sap! They were betrayed, but that didn't happen overnight. That team member, Sonny, was being enticed by the force of the dark side for a while. Even though he loved his team and still believed in his team, he was still being pulled and he eventually allowed himself to be compelled to that side and eventually betrayed what he believed in. Now looking at some backsliders, the ones who transition to another faith or another religion, it's really the same thing. You see, faith is the thing that all believers start off with. It is by grace through faith that we are saved and without faith it is impossible to please God. Our salvation is based upon the faith that God is God. It's based upon Him being able to save us from our sins. It's based upon Him being the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the all in all. Once our faith and that starts to break down, our salvation is in jeopardy. We ignorantly go on dates with the devil. He dresses up nicely, he takes us to the finest of restaurants, but then he begins to whisper into our ears. He whispers Illuminati theories that distracts us from the truth that really matters. He tells us about different artifacts and Egyptian history that takes our mind away from God, away from Jesus. He makes us discredit the Bible and discredit the scripture and discredit the church. He makes us interested in looking out for facts and meaningless genealogies that all continue to discredit the Bible and show Christianity as a copycat. It makes us stop believing that God is the Alpha and Omega, the one who was existing before these idols were formed in the hearts of men. So after all that deception, what happens is that our private dates with the devil becomes our public relationship. We no longer believe in God, or rather we start believing in a type of God that suits our needs, our fancies. It becomes our idol. Our fruit becomes sin, but it is masked by our inferior morals. Many believers have been deceived in this same way. We stop reading the word, we stop believing in God. We even get carried away with other winds of doctrine. Even if it's not religious and it's just logical thinking or science, once it seeks to discredit the Bible, it is a bad doctrine. And even more, it is satanic in nature. Let us open our eyes. Even if an angel comes down from heaven and introduces to us a gospel that we haven't heard before, that goes against what we have learned, let that angel be accursed. In fact, if any man gives us something that's totally different from what we've begun with, let him be a curse. It is time that we hold on to God. We need to safeguard our salvation. We need to let God be our source. Too much of us are consumed with videos and teachings that don't come from the Bible. Even if it's from a pastor or a preacher, we still let that dominate our lives rather than us getting down into the living word of God. We need to be vigilant and run from evil. We can't be so naive thinking that the devil will present himself as the devil. He will present himself as an angel of light. The way that we are deceived is because we are not looking, we are not watching and praying. So let us keep watching and praying. Let us be strong. And if we see a brother falling, let us be the one to help that brother up and lead him onto the right path. Let us focus on God. See you in the next one.